Man. So they both just stopped and left, huh? Uh -huh. Yeah. Those boneless chickens. <laughs> we'll be back. They just have to get used to the way things are now. Damn right. Girl power, my bitches! <laughs> hey, Verna, why don't you whip us up some French toast to celebrate? <laughs> Or, uh, we could do it. Good plan, my bitches. Hello? Anybody home? In here. Oh, what a nice surprise. Good morning, ladies. Berta. Botox. So where are the boys this morning? Oh, well, Charlie's off sulking in a hotel. Oh, really? Well, what about Alan? Oh, Alan's too cheap for a hotel. I see. And what brought this on? A lot of macho nonsense. Mm. And Alan? Just nonsense. No kidding. Well, I'm glad to see you didn't let them get away with it. Thank, Thank you. you. And I'm doubly pleased that you two have managed to put aside your somewhat distasteful history and bond the way you obviously have. What distasteful history? Oh, come on. Let her make my breakfast first. <laughs> What are you talking about, Evelyn? A lot of women might resent the former lover of their fiancé living in the same house with them. It ain't me. Start cooking. <laughs> you and Charlie? Just one little weekend. But believe me, if I knew what kind of man he was, I never would have let him touch me. What's that supposed to mean? Oh, he's fine for you. Fine for me? Well, I've got an early meeting. <laughs> nice to see you, girls. Why didn't you tell me? I thought you were my friend. Hey, if it weren't for me, your ass would have been gone a long time. I believe the balance of power is restored. <laughs> Thank you. You owe me large. 